Hello friends, you are watching data structures using C. All the videos are brought to you by Angpro Training from Angpro Technologies. So friends, in this class we will be learning the different search techniques that we can apply on the data structure. Until the last video, we have learned so many data structures and the programs and algorithms and many more things. And from the from this video, we're going to learn uh, the important aspect of the data structure that is searching for a particular element in the data structure. So we'll start our today's class by knowing uh, the searching technique and the different types of searching techniques. So searching in data structure is a process of finding the location where a specified or desired element is available right so there are two kinds of search techniques available in data structure one is linear or sequential search uh, where we st where we start our searching process uh, with the beginning element of the list and we go on visiting all the location in the list until the desired element is found another one is binary search which will be covered in the next video right so first we will understand the linear search then we uh, get into the actual C programming code to implement the same. So this is the simplest of all searching techniques uh, where it uses ordered or unordered list and we are going to search for an item in the list or an element in the list in the sequence. Uh, the list will be searched one by one in a sequence from the beginning until the desired element is found. If the desired element is found in the list, then the search is successful, otherwise it is unsuccessful. Okay, and the time complexity is linear search is big O of n. So it uh, it increases with the time. Uh, the In the best case, uh, we will get the uh, search element in the beginning. In the worst case, we will get the uh, element at the last position or uh, nowhere at all. So this is a simple technique, so directly get into the actual code. So here is the C program to implement a linear search. So here I am asking for the user to enter number of elements uh, which is stored in A and is going to enter all the elements uh, which will be stored in the array number i. So here number is the array uh, which is going to store the elements so number is an array here a maximum of 25 elements right then he will be asked to enter the searching element so the searchable element is stored in data so data is our uh, searching element so this is what we are going to match with all the other elements so here is the our actual uh, uh, code so, so this is the for loop where we implement the linear search so at every iteration of for and uh, every value of i we are going to match the each element of uh, number array with the data if number i equals to data then we set the flag variable to one this was, so this is just a variable simple variable which is initialized with a zero if the element is found we change its value to one after we get out of the loop if the if the value of the flag is still remains zero, data not found. If the value of the flag is equal to one, we will tell the user data found at location i plus one, right? So here I'll say eight for n. So I'm going to input eight values in the array. So these are my eight values stored in the number variable, num which is a uh, array here. So data equals to one. So one is my element which I'm going to search for right so in the first iteration i value is 0 so I go and check the 0th index number of 0 number 0 represents the first element in the index so this is number 0 if number 0 equals to data which is 1 we will set flag 1 but in this case it is not so i will be incremented now number 1 equals to data no when I incremented number 2 this also not matching so we will continue our incrementation when i value reaches 6 number i which is number 6 
so the data stored in number 6 is 1 so 1 is equal to data here now we will set the flag 1 and we will come out of the loop with because of this break statement we will be no longer continuing this loop right and uh, even though there are multiple ones uh, further in the list I'm not going to check all that because I'll return uh, I'll return from the loop whenever I encounter the first element I mean the first searched searched element right so I will get out of the loop with the flag set to 1 so this will be true again data found at location percent in this case 6 plus 1 is 7 which is actually the seventh place of the array where my data is stored right so I'll say data found at location i plus 1 which is 7 so this is the entire code please take this down on your book well friends that's it for the class subscribe to our channel on YouTube like our page on Facebook follow us on Twitter and join our group on LinkedIn Thank you.